Today we're going to talk about ionized water, the ultimate antioxidant. Boy, you know, for the last, I guess it's been eight years, I've been using a particular ionized water machine called the Conga machine, and basically it has really transformed my life and thousands of people I know. Let me explain to you how an ionized water machine works, because I feel this is the future of water technology. So going back to a diagram, we all know that water is H2O, right? That's the chemical structure. Now, if you watch the movie, The Water, The Great Mystery, they'll talk about how the structure of your water is more important than the chemical compounds. Well, what does that mean? Well, water has a charge. It can be positive or it can be negative. If it's, a neg if it's positive, it oxidizes you. In other words, oxidization is just a fancy name for rusting. And what this means is this contributes to aging, degeneration, and eventually disease and death. Right? <clears throat> We're all oxidizing at different rates. Now, if, it, if you have uh, water with a negative charge over here, right, you have what's called an antioxidant. Okay, in other words, you have an electron. This is based on the electron charge, which gives you an electron donor. This is really, really important. So most nutritional supplements that are sold in stores out there, for example, green foods and vitamin C and all these sort of stuff, they're based on creating antioxidants. Okay, most of them are, are antioxidants. In fact, antioxidant, antioxidant nutri nutraceuticals are the number one selling supplement in the world today, all over the world. It's been used for years. <clears throat> the thing is, with a supplement like in a green foods or powder or something, you're getting a chemical form. And it has to go through this whole long cycle. Here's your cell. Okay, and what happens if you have a positively charged ion that interacts with the cell, whether that's created from metabolic waste, you know, from metabolism, right? You got these positively charged ions, or it's from what's called like, you know, a free radical from outside, like I don't know, bad chemicals, like pollution, things like that. Um, these things, you know, so a certain amount of oxidization happens just as a part of living. We're all, we can't, uh, we can't stop that. But our environment and, our, and what we eat and what we do all contributes. Like we talk about burnt food, for example, is highly oxidative. That's why I recommend don't do it. Um, so let's see what happens here. When you're going to ionize water, what you're able to do is you're able to take regular water from your tap. I'm going to just draw a little tiny diagram here. Forgive my horrible penmanship and artistic ability, but we'll do the best we can. So what happens, you, you hear, here's your tap. Okay, and uh, we're going to stay with us. We're going to actually put you to a live demonstration after this, but I want to explain the concepts first. So what happens is, here's your tap, you know, here's your faucet. You can hook up one of these ionizers onto your tap. It goes into this machine, okay? In the machine, the machine has a little filter here like this that the water goes through, and that cleans out all the contaminants, chlorine and fluoride or things like that, or other little sediment and things like that. And then, it goes past it goes past these plates okay and these plates are made of platinum okay and titanium is the base underneath titanium and what happens is you run a electrical charge through this machine and the plates are set up positive negative positive negative positive negative so at a one hose you're going to have antioxidant water right off my screen here. And out of the ho other hose, you are going to have oxidant water. So this would be acid, and this would be alkaline. Actually, it's alkalized, because you can change the alkalinity of water by just adding minerals. Alkalized water means that you've created a change in the electrical structure, thus changing hydrogen. I want to get too, too technical on you, but the bottom line is, is alkalized water is, is a little bit different than just plain alkaline water. So what happens is, after this, 
you run this all into, you, you, you know, put the tap water, you hook it up to the machine, it goes through the filter, it goes through the ionization, and what happens is this water here, through a touch of the button, you can make a variety of electron-rich waters. So in other words, you're able to make virtually uh, almost, or almost unlimited, so let's say almost unlimited, antioxidants. This is really cool when it comes to, you know, being healthy and staying on top of your game. Because what happens is now you have electron donors, little negatively charged molecules that meet up here at the cellular, res you know, where you're having cellular respiration and the Krebs cycle, provides a donor electron, gives you an extra oxygen and extra water. It also bonds with this, these little free radicals and your little negative H water ion bonds with that and guess what neutralizes it so the benefits to me i mean i got first turned on to this idea because as an athlete you know you want to train you know harder faster longer all that sort of you want to be bigger faster stronger and recovery is a big aspect so what happens inside the cell is you build up a lot of acid wastes whether this is from exercise training that sort of thing so, I mean, I'm just about every athlete I know, once they've seen it and experienced it, gets on this because it's, it's so darn good. But acid water, or excuse me, you build up acid wastes. Let me get that right properly. And these acid wastes need to be cleared out of the system. They have highly positively charged. Any acid is going to be highly positively charged. So what happens is with drinking the water, as opposed to going through a chemical process that you have to go through with a lot of you know, green foods and things like that. Not that those things aren't valuable because they are really valuable and I encourage people to do it. But what I can create here is literally just so much more antioxidant um, free electrons. And that is great. The other thing is this technology has been around for a long, long time. It was first used in Japanese hospitals over 40 years ago. And what they started using was for the acid water. And you go, well, why, well wait, why would you use the acid water for it? Well, you can actually change through a touch of a button and make five different types of water. And you go, Wade, what, what do you mean five different types of water? Isn't water water? Well, stay tuned to the live demonstration. I'm going to explain this. But with the five different types of water, you can make a 2.5 pH, highly, highly acidic. That you can use to spray on your hands and to create a disinfectant. So there's a fellow by the name of Dr. Horst Filzer, who's a vascular surgeon, and what he's gone for from Harvard, put the first, you know, as part of the team that put the first stent in the body, and he's been using it um, in his wound healing clinic because he said that many of the people who die from surgery don't die from the surgery, they die from infections, and there's all these crazy bugs uh, in hospitals and stuff, and now with 2.5 water, they can treat these horrible conditions, and it can also just be served as a disinfectant. It's totally harmless. I'll show you in the demonstration. So that's a big benefit. Then you can make a 5.5 a pH. So the pH scale goes from 0 to 14. The human body, your blood is at 7.365, okay, which is just slightly alkaline. Your body will release bicarbonate buffers. We talked about that in the lesson on minerals. okay. Or, and so what happens is every time you consume something over on this side, your body has to release bicarbonate buffers to get your blood back into the right pH. However, on your skin, your skin cells, and we talk about this in the skin brushing and about you have all these cells or whatever, it's a little slightly acidic, about 5.5. And what that means is that we can make a 5.5 pH water, touch, change the button, and we can create a water that you can just put on your skin and it will help peel the layers off, very similar to the skin brushing program. Then you have three different pH waters, uh, 8.5, 9.0, and 9.5 pH waters. At different levels, they're producing different levels of antioxidants and different levels of pH, okay? So this is very cool. And then the final thing, which we're going to talk on a way, 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 we get a little bit further on in the lessons, is how you can create an 11.5 pH. This is not something you would drink, okay? Very much like you don't want to drink the 2.5 water either. But the 11.5 pH, you can actually emulsify oil. And that has some very powerful um, possibilities and potential of what it can do for removing pesticide waste, serving as an environmentally friendly cleaner, 
all of that sort of stuff. It, it's really, uh, you know, clean your house, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really impressive. And, you know, this kind of technology, there's a lot of different ionizers out there. What I'm going to suggest for you to do is to check out the video that comes associated with this little introduction onto the water, and that will kind of take you through a step-by-step -step process where you're going to go through and see each one of these individual things so that I can explain it in far better detail. So I hope you enjoyed this quick, uh, what I call the down and dirty lesson on ionized water. But one thing that you do want to make sure, if you're going to go out there and buy an ionizer, be sure to check out the videos before because there are different types of machines and you definitely want one that has been built to ISO 13485 standards. So the one I use is a conga machine and I'll show you how to get one in course. But make sure you check out these videos first because they're gonna be life changing. So that's a little quick and wrap on ionized water. I think it's probably the simplest, fastest and easiest way to improve a person's health. I've been using it for eight years. All the top athletes I know have been used for eight years and a lot of people in a lot of conditions are using it. And the best part is it's good for you and it's good for the environment. And I think when you look at plastic bottles today and the challenges that we're having dealing with plastics and the environment and stuff like that, having a home unit that allows you to get the chemicals out of your tap water and turn it into a super powerful antioxidant that you and your family can enjoy for literally a fraction of, of a penny a glass is just maybe one of the best values in the entire uh, history of health. So uh, hope you enjoyed this question. I know there's going to be a ton of questions. And rather than go into too much detail, just email us at the Bioptimizer website. We'll be happy to go through those um, and show you some of the things that we've discovered over the last eight years about ionization. But this is for real. So we'll see you on the next lesson. So welcome back to lesson 21 of the Bioptimizers Healing Health and High Performance Program, your complete guide to biological optimization. And today we're going to actually do the second part of this lesson, which is the actual demonstration of this, the world's premier water ionization unit. So uh, if you remember, we talked about it a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to test a variety of different waters that people are drinking. And we're going to use a couple of devices to demonstrate the differences and what we think you know, might be some good ideas to implement in your own life. So starting over here, we have uh, Dasani, which is a reverse osmosis product. They're Dasani made by the Coca-Cola Corporation. So there we go. We have Dasani, and then we have um, Aquafina. This is Pepsi's version of the finest bottled water in the world. Okay. And then we have... Fiji, one of the most expensive waters in the world, is they, 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 you know, they, they bottle us in a special spring from Fiji that's, you know, well known. And then the funny part is that they transport it all across the world and, you know, use a lot of oil <laughs> and gas and stuff like that. So then we have a really nice looking vase. Well, this is a sparkling water. Beautiful, beautiful glass. Really, really nice. You can see that fizz. Then we have a common sports drink right here. I'm, I'm you know, as an, an a former bodybuilding champion, we always are looking at hydration and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And, of course, as an athlete, looking at sports nutrition and, you know, what's really going on in our, whoa, that's a little almost blew up there. We're going to use a clear soda. We, we're not able to use a dark soda today simply because of the kind of lighting that we're going to do. Um, some of the meters that we're going to do. And then we've got some localized tap water, which should be better than most tap waters because this one doesn't have chlorine. Well, oh, that's a, a little hint. And then we've got some of the Kongan water made from this beautiful water ionizer. So let's get that. I'm just going to top these guys up so we have about the same amount in each one of these. So basically what we're going to do, we have what's called an ORP meter. And this measures, this measures the oxidization reduction potential. So remember, ORP, okay, this is oxidization reduction potential. So basically, I hope you can read that all right. So basically, if it's a negative, 
this is an antioxidant. If it's a positive, it's a free radical or an oxidant. Okay, so positive does damage to the body. I'm just going to draw a little thing. This is doing damage. This is aging you. This is causing damage to the cells, degeneration, sickness, disease. This is healthy, just to make it simple. Basically, it takes the negative charges will bond with free radicals. So let's look what people are drinking. Is this water good for them? So we have our little meter, and we'll check on this. So anything on the positive side means that it's doing damage. So we look here at our little meter. We can see that Dasani is in the positive range. And can we see that on the camera? This is in the 200s. So basically, when you're drinking this, this is doing damage. It's on the positive side. It's actually a free radical, largely in part because plastic bottles, okay? The plastic bottles have, you know, leach all sorts of chemicals and stuff inside it, especially it's about three months to two years before we'll have um, that being served to you. That's how long it could be sitting. So let's look at Aquafina. Okay, and we got this one. It's a little bit higher. It's in the positive 270s. So a little bit worse. Now what's interesting is sometimes, sometimes these will be different because of how long it's been storing in the sun. So let's look at the Fiji bottle. What do we got there for a number? This is in the mid 200s, low, low, low 200s. So again, positively charged. This is an oxidant. This is a free radical. This is doing damage. Let's try the sparkling water, this beautiful water here. Well, we can see this is also doing damage to the body. It's in the positive zone. Okay? And this is not like you know, double blind tested study, but it gives us a better average. By the way, you get these ORP meters in pool stores and marine stores, that sort of thing. They measure it to see if the chlorine in your water is going to kill you. So then we have Propel. It's a little bit better than the sparkling water, but you can see it's still doing damage. Let's try the soda. Soda's up there as well. Okay. Usually get a little higher reading than that, but today, you know, maybe this one's a little better soda. So positive I've done this a few times. Now let's try the tap water. As we can see, the tap water is definitely going up as well. So it's also positive. And then let's see with, oh, let me just cover that up. Let's see our, what do we got going on here? Now you can see we have a negatively charged water, minus 320. All the other ones were positive, okay? So we look at these, this is positive. Yeah, positive going up, positive going up. You get it, positive. These are all positives, just to make sure that we're not cheating. And you can see that goes to negative. Wow, so what does this mean? Well, number one, this means that <coughs> the ionized water made by this machine, Conga machine, okay, <coughs> and that's a trademark, by the way, so I just want to let you know. This is negatively charged. This means at the cellular level, we are able to provide donation of electrons, right, that pick up these free radicals that oxidate us, that do damage in, to our bodies. So again, all of these things, they're creating positive radi free radicals, whether it's from the plastics, whether it's from the chemicals that's been added into it, whether it's from the carbonation, or a combination of those things. And people just don't know this. I mean, they think, oh, well, I'm drinking you know, water. I pay a dollar, two dollars, whatever it is for this bottled water. It should be good for me. That's not necessarily the case. So that's that. That's the brief ORP. We do have some other like, more illustrative demonstration to give you an idea if you want to go to you know, the next link on the site. But we're just going to go through this nice and quick. What I have here next is a pH chart, um, pH measure. So Remember, our, the pH chart from school goes from 0 to 14. And the human body is right here at 7.365. This is what your blood's at. 
And it's got a, a, a tiny little range there. So this is alkaline. And this here is acidic. Now, when you're born, you're approximately, you know, 90% water. The human body, uh, on average, the adult, is 75% water. By the time you get to, like, senior citizen level, you're about 55% water. And according to a lot of the top water experts in the world, dehydration in, in a chronic form, chronic dehydration, is one of the biggest causes of damage and dysfunction in the body. There's a great book by Faradun Botman Gallage called Your Body's Many Cries for Water. And inside that, he shows all the associated illnesses with dehydration. So let's take a look. We got our pH chart here. Now we're going to see things with different colors. Anything that is yellow or red is bad green, and slightly blue is neutral, and bright blue would be super alkaline. So there, so you can see the different types of water. So I'm going to give these a little stir, right? Now, as you can see, they have very, very different colors. Now, what do these colors mean? And you can refer to our pH chart, okay? And that'll kind of explain all this stuff. But basically, just so you know, this, this is seven right here in the middle. Human, human body is right about here. Let's say you go to six, and then you go to five, in four, in three, two, one, okay? The difference between seven and six is times 10. The difference between seven and five is 10 times 10. So this is a logarithmic by 10, log 10, okay? You understand that. So what that means is also on the other way, it's log 10. The difference between seven and eight is times 10. The difference between seven and nine is 10 times 10. So it's 100 times more alkaline. So you can see just a very small movement just to get, is, is a big difference. For example, if you were up at over like 7.45 or 7.5 on the pH chart, you'd be dead. And if you went down to like 7.2 or something, you'd be dead. And that's according to Dr. Horst Filzer, the vascular surgeon, who has wholeheartedly endorsed this technology as a benefit to all mankind. So let's look at these charts. If you look at these colors, and you can get a pH chart, and compare them. You have Dasani water here. This is around about a 5 pH. So in other words, it's about 100 times more acidic than your blood. And what you're going to have to do if you're drinking this, is your body's going to take minerals out of the connective tissues and your bones in order to buffer that. And so over time, we find that this can contribute to degeneration, osteoarthritis, all these type of things. Okay. Now let's look at Aquafina. Aquafina, same thing, about the same thing, about 100 times more acidic. Now, what's interesting is I did a test one time. I drove around in California for three days in the hot sun, and I put one of these water bottles in the back, you know, where it's getting a lot of light. And then I tested it before, and I tested it after, and guess what? It went up another 100 points in positively charged because the sun was affecting the plastic. And that has all kinds of problems. There's some great documentaries, uh, one called The Disappearing Male, about the effect of plastics, particularly plastics that leach. There are BPA-free plastics, but plastics that leach, they can create a variety of challenges, including birth defects. And according to the CBC documentary, The Disappearing Male, that approximately eight, I think it was, don't quote me 100% on that, you have to watch the documentary, it's free online. It's about eight out of 10 miscarriages are boys who are exposed to too many xenoestrogen and phytoestrogens from plastics, not just from plastic bottles, but also from microwaves, things like that. Um, you know, from microwaving your plastics or using plastic, like plastics are everywhere and, and our bodies aren't designed to run on it. So then we've got Fiji water. Now you see Fiji water is a little bit more alkaline. So if you're going to choose a bottled water, choose one that is alkaline. And I would highly recommend that you choose one that's a spring water. And then I would go again to the next level and get a glass bottle. Well, we went to a glass bottle. We got this beautiful Voss. And it's a sparkling water, but look, it's, it's highly acidic. The carbonation increases the acidity. And this is probably going to be about a 1,000 times more acidic than your blood. Okay, so now when you're drinking this, and uh, your body is struggling to bring it back into pH. It will do it, but there's a cost. Everything that you do is a cost. You eat the burnt food, it doesn't kill you right away. It's a cost. You eat the pesticides, it doesn't kill you right away. 
it's a cost. And when you stack all of these lifestyle things together, this is where the degeneration and the sickness or the, the illnesses of modern man come from. And that's what this program is all about. This program is about stacking things in your favor to go that lead you more to healing, lead you more to health, lead you more to high performance. And the more things that you stack, the faster you get to that ultimate level. So then we're going to talk about Propel, another sports drink. Again, highly acidic, probably down there, a hundred times more acidic than our blood. We've got um, Sprite soda. This is at two point, around 2.5. Just to give you an idea, 2.5, let's say, is you know under three. Going from here, going from your blood is one, two, three, four, five parts over. So that means this is approximately 50,000 times more acidic than your blood. So think about what happens when you start putting that into your body on quantity and mass. And the thing is, is people drink soda, and we talked about this earlier, because th they have very low satiety. You can keep drinking it and drinking it and drinking it. Okay, so then we have tap water. Now here, we're filming this in Sedona, and Sedona has better water than most municipalities. Most municipalities um, don't actually get their water to this color, so this is a pretty good water. So yay, Sedona. And uh, th so that's great, but oftentimes I'll see this. It's federally regulated to make a 7.0 water. In other words, we're federally regulated to make this water, the neutral water. This is so it doesn't rust the pipes. Now, oftentimes what municipalities will add is they'll add chemicals to boost the pH. By boosting the pH up to 7 or above, they know that it won't rust the pipes. So in other words, it will preserve the piping in the town if it's not acidic. If it's acidic, the pipes wear out sooner. So think about that. What about your pipes? What happens if you're drinking water that's acidic or sodas or sports drinks? You think it might rust those? You be the judge. So then we've got Congan water. You can see this nice, bright, purple, pur purple, yeah, purple, purple color. So let's take a look what happens here. Now, just to give you an idea why I'm such a big proponent of this, I started drinking this and I, I noticed a, an incredible result in my own life. And I started giving the water away at my clinic and what was happening with people was truly extraordinary. I can't legally share that with you. That's the way the world is. But let me just give you an idea what starts happening here. If I add just a little bit of this Congan water to acidic waters, we're able to start alkalizing it. Isn't this great? We start turning it around. But and we can do this water. But look at these carbonated ones. Nothing. What about the soda here? Let's really jack this up. No, nothing. Okay, and here's why. So you can see it turn for a second, then it comes back. 50,000 times more acidic. So in other words, to neutralize just one bottle of soda, you would need approximately 35 of the same size of, of 9.5 pH water. This is 9.5, the, the strongest pH water, drinking water that the machine makes. So just give, and you don't want to go really drink water beyond that, that's fine. And let me just give you an example of how potent this is. Now this is watered down soda. So you say, oh, I'm just going to have a sip. I'm just going to have a small one. Even the Kangen water. Oh, it takes a little bit more, but it will turn. You can see it turning. Slowly, 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 slowly. Wow. Isn't that amazing? When I first saw this, we can finish that. So it resists it a little bit, so we can... There, now it's done. Wow, when I first saw that, I was totally blown away. And here I was a sports nutritionist and had studied all this sort of stuff. And then eight years ago, I'd never heard of this. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. And the next thing you know, it's becoming the de facto thing in you know, UFC, high-level sporting, um, there's a guy by the name of Shan Stratton, a colleague of mine. He's a sports nutritionist to over 30 major league sports teams. He advocates this emphatically. Now, how do we make this machine? Well, this is pretty neat. What we're able to do is we're able, through a touch of a button, make a variety of different waters. How the ionization machine works is that the water comes in through one of the pipes, and we've got these pipes over here. It comes in through this filter. And what happens, or that hose off your tap, you can get some that's hooked up under the counter, but I, wanted, I brought this one obviously because we couldn't show you under the counter. 
it goes through this filter. It's a multi-stage filter. cleans out all the chlor chlorine and sediment and things like that that will be found in most municipal tap waters. Then it goes back to the engine of the machine where there's seven titanium plates double dipped in platinum, set up positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. What happens is you run 230 watts of current through this and that creates an electrolysis charge that separates the water into two streams, positive on one side, negative on one side. And some people say, hey, Wade, you know, and we, you know is this natural? Of course it's natural. Ionize ionization is a very natural process. And people go, well, electricity is not natural, is it? Well, of course it is. It, it, electricity is inside our body. It's through all nature. In fact, if we didn't have lightning storms, we wouldn't even exist on the planet. So think about this. Where are there areas where you could get these negatively charged ions? That's what they're typically called in science. We we'll, can write that down there. Negatively, I know I'm kind of making a mess here, but that's how I roll. Negatively charged ions. Where do we have that? Well, do you ever go outside in the rain after a lightning storm? How do you feel? You breathe that air and it feels very vibrant and electric? That's ionization. You're breathing in these negative ions which are good for the body. Or maybe you've walked along a beach where you see the waves crashing in, right? You got the saline coming out of this thing and you create this huge amount of uh, energy is being turned from the waves and the foam comes up and then there's an ionization in the water. Or maybe you've been under a waterfall per se, and you can, you know, you feel that ionization right by that waterfall as all the water's coming because you've got potential energy turning into kinetic energy as it falls from a high place. This charges the water. And this is something that happens naturally in nature. What these guys have figured out is they've taken a technology that you can install inside your home and take tap water, which isn't really the best for you to drink, right? Has all these contaminants and chlorine and all this sort of stuff and clean it, filter it, ionize it. And then with the touch of the button, make five different types of water. So let me show you what these waters are. So the f one of the waters down here is called, uh, is called strong acid. And it'll tell you that, right? So I poured some off here earlier. Now strong acid water is what this was originally designed for in Japanese hospitals. And this is a amazing disinfectant. So if I just go like this, okay, this 2.5 pH will kill Salmonella, E. coli, MRSA, all kinds of bacteria and, and nasties with no chemicals. It's totally harmless. Look, right in my eyes, in my mouth, not going to cause any problem whatsoever. So 2.5 pH, it's great for cleaning counters, disinfecting things, also for disinfecting your hands without any oil. Truly phenomenal. Then over here, we can add what's called beauty water. So your skin, as we talked about, the skin has a 5.5 pH. And to remove the dead skins, we have a turnover by adding this beauty water. Okay. What this does is it reconditions my skin. I use this on the plane a lot and keeps me hydrated, keeps my skin, you know, in great condition. And then moving forward from that, we have neutral water. This is just filtered water. Okay, so if you don't want to use the ionization, you can just filter it through the filter without putting any charge. Then we have three different types of drinking water. 8.5 water is what we start people out because as you drink this, because of the high antioxidant level and the pH level, it has a detoxifying effect on the body. And then we would start maybe week one on that, week two, go to 9.0, and then week three at 9.5. You can kind of adjust it to whatever you like for yourselves. And then we have what I think is one of the most radical components of this whole thing. I'm going to show you this. And when I saw this, it really blew me away. People go, wait, wait, is this different? And I said, yes, it is. Because we heard the old thing that water and oil don't mix. So there we go. I hope we can see that for our camera crew really well. And if we take any one of these waters, we can take tap water, okay? And we'll see that the oil rises to the top. Yet if I use this 11.5 water that I can make, so how it works is I'll press the 2.5 button, out of one hose comes the acid water, out of the other hose comes the strong alkaline water, okay? Now watch this, this is amazing. Wow, I'm totally able to emulsify the oil. 
Now, I won't get into all the details of why that's, that's a, that happens, but the benefits of this, we now have a way to remove oil-based pesticides and herbicides. In an upcoming lesson, I'm going to show you that application. I think you're going to be absolutely amazed. But I can tell you this. Having one of these machines inside your home is a truly one of the greatest things that I've done. I put one in the family, uh, you know, in my family's house, in my parents' house, you know, grandparents, you know, my aunt's got one. Like, this technology is truly life-changing, and I think it's one of the great advantages of the world. There's all kinds of different ionizers out there on the marketplace. What you want to do is, is go to the links that we've added here so you can find out how to evaluate ionizers because not all ionizers are the same. You do want to have one that's made at an ISO 13485 facility. That's an international standards organization. And I know that these guys also have the, the Water Quality Association, the oldest and most prestigious water testing uh, company in the world. And they have that, that benefit or that endorsement, shall we say. So these aren't me telling you it is. Those are endorsements from outside agencies. But what I can say is put one of these in your home. If you need to find out how to get one or go through that, go through the links and we'll be happy to set you up. I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. There are expanded ones. So if you want more information or ask more questions, just you know, email us at the site, buyoptimizer.com. I hope you enjoyed the demo and get back to you with your questions and we'll see you